Good evening. Mrs. Chan, our CEO, members of the board, Dr. Alvarez, head of school, parents, guardians, teachers, supporters of ISS International School, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2020. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our online graduation ceremony, a new yet wonderful way in which we can celebrate the achievements and success of our 2020 graduates. Like many of our teachers watching tonight, there are times when I think back to students I previously taught and wonder where life has taken them to. Occasionally, I hear back from former students, which always brings excitement, often satisfaction, and sometimes great surprise. I'll remember this graduating class fondly in the years to come. You are a special class to me for a number of reasons. Firstly, I had the great pleasure of teaching many of you mathematics in grade 10 when I first joined ISS. You are my first class here in Singapore, and I enjoyed working with you, navigating MYP mathematics, while also getting to know you and the ISS community at the same time. Secondly, having taken up the position of high school principal this year, you will forever be remembered as my first graduating class as principal, and something that I will remember as a great privilege. Thirdly, we are currently in unprecedented and unique times. I am sure that there will be many times in the future where this period of life, our lives is remembered and reflected upon. Graduates, this key milestone in your lives as learners will be part of the reminiscing and the memories that we will do of this challenging time. This also encourages me as I am immensely proud of the character, determination and level-headedness that you have all displayed in dealing with this unexpected challenge so close to the end of your high school education. Nobody could have imagined the impact that this pandemic might have. Despite this, I'm confident that you leave ISS with the skills and ability to handle whatever life may throw at you in the future. Your ability to be balanced, reflective, caring and open-minded means that you should move on from ISS with confidence that you're well prepared for the next steps of life. And I'm sure that you'll agree with me that this is in no small part to the guidance and support and commitment from your teachers as you become accomplished IB learners. They have put in many hours into supporting you through your time at ISS, and I hope that you'll remember their commitment to your education with fondness and appreciation. This has also only been possible with the support of your parents and guardians as we work in partnership to provide an environment in which you are able to thrive. I'm greatly encouraged by the messages regularly sent to me from parents and guardians and our supportive community at ISS is something that I'm confident that you will remember in the future. I look forward to hearing from you about your successes in the future, but for now I congratulate you all and enjoy recognizing and celebrating your successes here today. Well done, class of 2020. I would now like to invite Dr. Margaret Alvarez, head of school, to address the graduating class. Class of 2020, Mrs. Chan, CEO, board members, parents, students, guardians, friends of ISS, and fellow colleagues. Welcome to the Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. This very special ceremony this year, under extraordinary circumstances, celebrates the successes of our graduating students. It also marks a rite of passage for both students and parents the end of school days and the transition into the young adult world of higher education, national service or the workforce. For many, it also marks the beginning of an empty nest, but not the end of an empty bank book. This ceremony also marks the end of a long-term relationship with ISS for several graduates and their families. We thank you all for entrusting each member of your family to ISS. Graduates, let's pause for a moment and thank the people that helped you on this journey. Your parents and guardians who have supported you in countless ways and your teachers that have guided your studies. Send them an email or thank them in person. Our graduates this evening have different types of qualifications which meet their needs, interests and future career choices. Among our graduates are students that have completed a two-year course, which leads to the International Baccalaureate Diploma. 
The IB Diploma necessitates the study of a broad range of subjects from different disciplines, a demanding critical thinking skills course, a research paper akin to those required at university level, and a serious commitment to service learning sports and creative activities. Other graduates have completed a series of IB courses aligned with their future career paths and interests. The IB course programme also requires a commitment to creativity, action and service activities and study at an advanced academic level. Both of these courses serve as solid pathways to the world of higher education. The class of 2020 is remarkable in many diverse ways. Graduating this evening, we have students that sacrifice the security of family life and travel to Singapore without their parents to study at ISS. This takes significant courage, staying power and will. Several students arrived at ISS with limited English and are graduating this evening after completing highly rigorous and demanding academic studies. We have accomplished musicians, performers, artists, skilled sportsmen and women amongst our graduates. We also have students that have initiated and undertaken without adult supervision, outstanding service learning projects and several graduates strengthened their debating and interculturally competency skills by participating in the Model United Nations programme. All of these projects demanded high levels of organisation and entrepreneurial spirit and drive and determination. An excellent demonstration of the school's mission, values and vision in action. As is tradition, speakers at graduation ceremonies are expected to pass on some perils of wisdom. This year, I have decided not to pass on received wisdom, but to focus on what I have learned from the class of 2020. In these extraordinary circumstances filled with uncertainty and anxiety, I have watched how you rolled with the punches, so to speak, and with enormous flexibility, accepted that this year's university admissions process will be different, that culminating IB diploma examinations would be cancelled and other forms of certification needed alternative approaches. I have watched you as you stoically accepted that travelling home or on vacation in March was not possible. And I have been impressed by how you internalised that the normal graduating festivities would have a new reality. For me, the manner in which you conducted yourselves demonstrates maturity beyond your years and a resilience that can only stand you in good stead for the challenges of life to come. I am enormously proud of you and I feel inspired by this new generation of ISS graduates to face life's challenges with the same aplomb and grace. Class of 2020, the world awaits you upon an even bigger stage than the one you have been rehearsing on. Act wisely and well. On behalf of all the ISS community, I am honored to wish you happiness, good health, and every success for the future. Many congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Alvarez. I would now like to invite Mr. Christopher Garden, our Diploma Coordinator, to share a few words before presenting the graduates. Graduating Class of 2020, Mrs. Chan, CEO, ISS Board Members, Dr. Margaret Alvarez, Head of School, distinguished guests, parents, guardians, friends and colleagues, both near and far. Let me first start by congratulating you all on reaching this milestone in your education and getting through arguably the most rigorous and challenging of high school diplomas available. This marks an exciting stage in your life, that of greater independence and slightly more freedom. A true test of a person's character is revealed during challenging times, not just the good. I have to say that I've been extremely impressed with the character I've seen displayed by all graduates of 2020 through some difficult times. With all the ordinary challenges faced by DP students, you certainly have had a fair share of challenges thrown at you. 
It is a strength of character, flexibility, understanding and compassion that has shone through so brightly from you all. At the end of your formal secondary schooling, the IB's mission challenges students across the world to become active and compassionate lifelong learners. As tonight highlights, you have all definitely risen to the challenges and exemplify this mission. I encourage you to hold on to those memories from high school outside of the regular classroom setting. With your recent focus being on studying for exams, these might seem distant memories. However, this will fade and be replaced by those rich experiences you have shared together. Please remember to be thankful to your parents and guardians who have shared your trials and tribulations. They are so often in the background ready to catch you when you fall and keep you going through those late night cram sessions and the stress of looming deadlines. In six weeks you'll be receiving your IB results and for many of you who don't already have confirmed offers, the end of some anxious waiting for university confirmation. I wish you all the very best in realising these dreams. It is not goodbye, but very much good luck. Please stay in touch with your ISS family and keep us updated with your adventures and successes. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. Saya Aso Niam Adin Batku Satima Chanaka Chia Su Ying Sarah Ann Chen Si Hung Chen En Ju Chu Man Haswan Chung Chien Min Dung Yawen Janek Danrajgir Du Yujie Elsie Brennan Ung An Jung Kaho Fujita Nicole Sabine Castro Galvez Ga Lingdan Nicole Wesley Gohan Han Hyo Jun Mei Hasegawa He Shin Serafino Huang Dang Song Neneko Imai Mamona Ito Jo Huan Wu Jung Wukion Fehmina Cameron Gatri Kanchi Bottler Kim Chung Hyun Kim Taehi Lee Min Chan Lee In Man Lee Jia Hao Yuna Mei Jima Masha Aprili Mamesa Shesin Asmina Masud Ma Zishuan Mayuko Mokizuki Ryo Nishimura Mayuko Okamoto Ong Kamei Pek Shinyu Pang 
you long. Dayanku siti nor Sabrina, binti pengiran Muhammad nor Sufian. Pakchira pipop sukawadi. Chu chin. Amelia Elizabeth Sanderson. So tag you. Brendan James Spurway. Mayuho Suga. Tan Chi Wen. Sawirakon Tatsanagrawood. Patrick Luke Bunton Various. Wong Hao. Rico Watanobi. Kota Yamaguchi. Yun Minxiong. Raybal Muhammad Yusuf. Jong Hang. Ju Minhui. How wonderful to recognize your achievements in this way, and I again offer my congratulations to the class of 2020. Each year, the graduating students nominate a high school faculty member to provide a speech and their remarks on the class's graduation. So it now gives me pleasure to invite Mr. Paul Crozier to share his remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, ISS faculty and staff, and of course, class of 2020. I'm Mr. Crozier, and it is my pleasure an honour to speak about the wonderful set of students that are graduating this year from ISS. So, class of 2020. My affection and high regard for you is an easy one to explain. You have a wide range of personalities that seamlessly integrate as a community that is considerate of its members and is free from negativity and discrimination. All very important things. You guys also have a strong and positive aura with maturity 
and an endearing sense of humour that I'm sure will serve you well in your next steps. I recently read a book that spoke about how happiness can be found and nurtured. The book was so profound for me that you guys in grade 12 are now about to receive a healthy dose of Crozier advice. The key, it seems, is in overpowering your fears. How do we overpower our fears, I hear you ask? Well, the answer is twofold. Firstly, appreciation. Secondly, seeing the good things. Okay, so feeling an appreciation of the world and those around you can literally replace feelings of fear. If you had a serving of positivity and optimism for good measure, you set. Life will test you for sure. Don't think any differently. But do know that you can fight back and win. With a glass half full and by sharing the love. Right, grade 12, quick question. What does alumni mean to you? Well, the dictionary describes alumni as a group of graduating students. That's the official term. But what does alumni mean in real terms? It means that each of you will return to ISS at some point in the future to say hello and to share your progress and adventures. In short, we want to see you again. So don't let me down, don't let us down, and remember the new unwritten alumni. To bring my words to you to a close, I thought I'd mention the point at which I became most proud of you all. It was a few weeks into grade 12, the beginning, I think it would have been uh, middle of August, and I observed a shift in the way that you guys were interacting with each other and those around you. It was clear to me then that the growing up process had begun, that you were seeing the world as an opportunity and that you had begun the transition into adulthood. At that point, it was clear to me that you would be a credit and an asset in the world that you are about to enter. Promise me that you'll stay grounded and that you'll keep working hard. On a final and personal note, thank you all for making my daily world a better place to be. The pleasure has been all mine. And whatever the next stage of your lives involves, be ready, achieve your potential without fear, because the world is waiting for you. Be brave, be independent, and be thoughtful. I wish you all the very best for your journeys ahead. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you again. I'd like to now pass you over to the class of 2020 graduation speaker, Amelia Sanderson. Good evening everyone, my name is Amelia Sanderson and I am more than honoured to be speaking to you today on behalf of the class of 2020. I'd like to first begin by saying a few thank yous. To every teacher and all other ISIS faculty and admin staff who have not only provided us with education, but who have guided us and taken care of us over the past four years, we thank you. To all the parents and guardians who have supported us in all our endeavours and shown us endless love as we have grown, we thank you. And finally, to anyone else who has been a part of our journey here at ISS in one way or another, we thank you. So let's backtrack 12 years ago when I first stepped into ISS. I was a small, rather short, an honestly petrified little girl holding onto her brother's hand for dear life. I quickly realised that we didn't have these fancy swimming pools or these large auditoriums with comfy theatre chairs or even eight storeys worth of classrooms that you see in the movies. To be honest, I don't know what we had. Fast forward 12 years later, yet we still don't have those fancy swimming pools I was talking about and most are still rather short in case anyone's wondering. But most importantly, I've realised what we have here. At ISS, we have a home. We have a place where friends turn into family and a place where you build relationships that you'll cherish and remember for the rest of your lives. Now with this realization came one of the biggest lessons I've learned in high school. And I mean, one that'll take you further than any maths class where you learn about the chain rule in calculus. Just FYI, Mr. Gill, it still confuses me to this day. But anyways, back to what I was saying. 
Remember that swimming pool I've mentioned about a hundred times now? Well, as much as it would have been nice to have one, it taught me that in life, we need to appreciate the little things rather than take them for granted. So whether it's a snack from a teacher or a small note from a friend, I'm sure we are all guilty of overlooking a simple act of kindness. And that brings me to my one piece of advice I have for you tonight. Don't focus on the things that you don't have. Focus on the things that you do because it's more than some people will ever have. And looking back at it all now, I take the memories, the people, and the experiences I've had at ISS over anything. Highly likely by now, you've zoned out my speech. But let me just say this one last thing. To the class of 2020, I could not have asked for a more talented and hardworking group of people to graduate with me here today. Of course, I wish it was under better circumstances, but we'll do with what we can. I hope you all keep your heads held high, strive for the best, and go far in life no matter what path you choose. You should all be proud of yourselves and all your accomplishments. So here's to us, we made it. Thank you. Hope when you take that jump, you don't feel the fall. Hope when the water rises, you build a wall. Hope when the crowd screams out, you're screaming your name. Hope if everybody runs, you choose to stay. Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad. I hope for you class of 2020 well I hope that you'll be reflective I hope that um, as you achieve uh, you will reflect on your achievements and you won't um, have regrets uh, you define your own success and I hope that you're happy in what you choose to do um, but I wish you all the best in all the many different paths that you'll go along congratulations ISS class of 2020 I do hope that the strange situation we find ourselves in inspires you to think about what you're going to do next and how you're going to change the world for the better. Good luck and best wishes. teachers and staff thank you thank you for all the memories and thank you to all the friends that we've made along the way I wish somebody would have told me babe someday these will be the good old days all the love Reckless nights you won't regret Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the band I was thinking about the fans We were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star 
Look at where we at, still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become Couldn't wait to get older Couldn't wait to be some Now that I'm here Wishing I was still young Those good old days You don't know What you got Till it goes Till it's gone This brings us towards the end of the ceremony, and I would now like to invite Dr. Margaret Alvarez for a few closing remarks, um, along with um, some comment on a gesture that the senior leadership team have done in marking the student's graduation. So once again, graduates, congratulations. We wish you every success as you move on, and thank you all for joining us this evening. In these extraordinary times, and with the deepest admiration for all that you have achieved, we are happy to announce that graduates of the class of 2020, you are now alumni of ISS International School. Many congratulations. <laughs>